Hello there dear youtubers my name is king1993 and today I want to discuss to you about which stick matter set and which weapon set is grindable and also best for the Bronya Jaisi character okay so let's start with the video <laughs> as I have said today's character will be called Bronya Jaisi who is from Siberia now there are total 8 Bronya Jaisi characters Out of these eight Bronya Jaisik character, only five of them are useful. Harsher of Reason, Palkari Chariot, Yamabuki Armor or also known as Tribe Cometa, Hexor Bunny, and Black Nucleus. These are the five Bronya character which will be highly useful. But here is the thing. They are different when it comes to the elemental type. For example, this one and this one are actually ice type and 1, 2 and 3. These three of them are physical type. So which type of weapon are be, uh, the best for them? Let's go to the weapon section. I have selected the launcher type and then selected the 6 star weapon. <coughs> now. As you can probably see here, there is only three uh, six-star weapon for the Bronia characters. This one is called Star Destroyer 19CX. This one is called Bearus EX, and this one is called Domino of Revelation. Now, this Domino of Revelation is not grindable. You first need to get harsher of key sorry key of reason and then you can only then convert it to domain of revelation but the thing is uh, harsher of uh, key of reason that is key of reason is not grindable but these two are grindable okay so i'll be focusing on these two so let's go to the equipment section and then go to forge once you do that select the weapon category and these are the weapon which will be available let's start with the basic the basic are the weakest of them all and then the least weakest or rather let's say stronger than the basic weapon are the spirit weapon spirit weapon are weaker than bounty weapon and bounty weapon are weaker than pre arms so we will start with the basic weapon first basic weapons are weapons that are highly easily grindable okay and these two are the types which i do recommend because these are the five star weapons and they have uh, missiles attack okay they are not laser type any of the laser type weapon you get for the pronia character i suggest do not use them because you need to re-aim at your enemy whereas this one will auto aim on your enemy so in that figure these weapons are far better than the weapons which are the laser type okay for example this is a laser type it need to be have cool time cool down time because it can get overheated and you must also need to uh, aim at your enemy otherwise it is not gonna hit well whereas these two can auto hit your on your enemy okay now once you have these two then eventually you will think about getting uh, maybe the spirit weapons in the future right now for the spirit weapon as i have said this one is a laser type for a fast game such as a game pack uh, aiming at your enemy and firing them is actually not recommended by me so in that regard i do suggest that you do not use this weapon okay You do not use this weapon on the Bronya Jaisi character because re-aiming is a bad issue in this game. Instead of this one, try to get the Pyrrhus pre-armed spirit and Star Destroyer 19C spirit because eventually these two are the most useful one and eventually once you have them, you will be able to upgrade them to the bounty weapons. <coughs> now, once 
you have upgraded them to a bounty weapon these two weapon will eventually be converted to a pre-armed so this C 19C will become 19CX and this pre PRS pre will become PRS EX okay <coughs> and for the domain of revelation you must need key of reasons which you won't have so do not think about this one but let's talk about this two how much good is this one this one is good enough for me to recommend even on both for black nucleus or for harsher of reason why <coughs> because this one can actually does a lot of damage on your enemy whether they are physical enemy or whether they are ice enemy it doesn't matter as long as you have this weapon as a beginner's weapon guide that is then for both black nucleus and harsher of reason it is gonna help you in the long run but what about PRCX? PRCX eventually lose its ability to fire missiles and it will become a laser weapon but do not worry the benefit of this weapon is if you were to equip this weapon on the Yamabuki armor or drag cometa then they will be able to do a lot of physical damage as a support okay so let's say you use this on Bronia uh, uh, drive cometa or Yamabuki armor then what will happen is your enemy will become weak and right after your enemy become weak and you use this weapon <coughs> what will happen is your enemy your enemy will become even more weaker so <coughs> this is the benefit of having a brocx truth to be told the bronia set is the most complicated set because the weapon type is different there are three type of weapon types scatter missile short missile and <coughs> laser so even if you have the laser such as PLCX, give it to her only this one can benefit it the most okay and what about falcon charlie give her any weapon it doesn't matter yes i am actually saying that give falcon chariot any weapon or stick matter it doesn't matter because once she, she once she has collected all the sp or special points she'll be able to use gather <coughs> and for hexor bunny uh, give hexor bunny other either this star destroyer 19cx or the domain of revelation because she'll be able to make benefit out of both of them and it, let's say if you do not have a domain of revelation and you have this black nucleus instead then give this black nucleus the uh, this star destroyer 19 cx so this is a complicated set overall if you do not have this Harsher of Reason, use uh, Black Nucleus and if you have this Harsher of Reason then give her Domain of Revelation if you do not have Domain of Revelation then give her this, uh, give Harsher of Bronia this Star Destroyer 19CX that much complicated this set is okay so I hope you understand the point of this video of how much complicated this Bronia set is <coughs> because even if i do have the harsher of reason eventually getting one is actually highly doubtful because not many people can get them because it cost about uh 28000 uh crystals in order to make about a hundred pool and sometimes many people can get a harsher character near the 100 pool rate okay so the complication gets a lot more uh, complicated.
when it comes to get these Brodia characters. When it comes to the <coughs> other uh, Valkyrie characters, they are a lot easier to follow. Okay. So anyway, that will be it for today. Thank you for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe and click the bell notification icons to get more of this video on a regular basis. Oh wait, I forgot to mention another thing, right? The stigmata set. Well, how can we end the video if we do not talk about the stigmata set? So let's go to the stigmata set and then uh, click on forge and go to this. And then it will show you all the ice category, okay? And once you get to the ice category, uh, go to the bottom. Now there is two ice category stigmata set. One is Edwin Havel and one other, another one is called Rasputin. Uh, in case if you are wondering which one of them is good, they are equally good because both of them are basic stigmata set. They will output about the same amount of damage. So if you do try to get a basic stigmata set, go for the Rasputin or Edwin Havel. Now, if you are wondering which type of G1 you should be getting, in order to get the G1, whichever uh, ice stigmata there is, you must first need to go to the G3. In the G3, there is Anaskariak, and in order to get Anaskariak, you must need to sacrifice Robert Pierre. In order for you to get Robert Pierre, you must need to sacrifice Nohime. So, based on that, I suggest that you get Nohime as a g1 stigmata then try to go for robert Pierre stigmata set because the <coughs> amount of material you need is gonna get almost half and once you have the robert Pierre, all of the set t m and b you will be able to get anas cardiac t m and b for example i am currently using anas cardiac t and m i am trying to get the b now who does it i use it on i use it on the harsher reason character because she has the maximum amount of ice damage really, okay so that is this stigmata set is for the uh, harsher of bronia but what about black nucleus for black nucleus go to the physical stigmata set and then go to the bottom marco polo set is the best for the black nucleus and once you have collected Marco Polo set, you should be able to enjoy the game properly. But once you started the G1 stigmata set, you first need to see which uh, stigmata set is at the G3. It is direct. In order to get direct, you must need to sacrifice Michelangelo. And in order to get Michelangelo, you must need to sacrifice Ekaterina. So your target should be Ekaterina as a G1 stigmata. For G2 stigmata, you should be trying to get Michelangelo and for G3 Stigmata you should be sacrificing Michelangelo for Tyrant. <coughs> so this is the overall conclusion of which type of Stigmata set you should be trying to get. In case if you are wondering why I am having hard time talking because I have been uh, making this video about for one and a half hour because I made multiple mistakes and as a result my throat is start to hurt like i am one of those people who can talk about various topics but if i do not take a rest in between my throat is start to hurt okay anyway that will be it for today thank you for watching my videos please like and subscribe and click the bell notification icons to get more of this type of video on a regular basis thank you